بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In the name of God, as a noun and verb, the most merciful God, the bestower of mercy. And there's good indication here that before I first went over this with my father, um, the second time I'm going over with you all, um, that this chapter number 65, the divorce, was the most gone over chapter in this particular printing here. I mean, I don't mean necessarily, I don't know when it comes to, you know, the company printing, but this individual book that I purchased shows signs of that being the case. Arctalok. O prophet, when you divorce women, put them away at their appointed turn, and commute, and compute the term, and fear God, your Lord. Oblige them not to go out of their apartments, neither let them go out until the term being ex expired, unless they be guilty of manifest uncleanness. These are the statutes of God, and, whoso, and whoever transgresseth the statutes of God assuredly injureth his own soul. Thou knowest not whether God will bring something new to pass, which may reconcile them after this. So the only excuse in divorce of Casting out the spouse is uh, infidelity. Or some open crime against the spouse, otherwise maybe. And when they shall have fulfilled their term, either retain them with kindness, or part from them honorably, and take witnesses from among you, men of integrity, and give your testimony, as in the presence of God, this admonition is given unto him who believeth in God and the last day. And whoso feareth God, unto him will be will we grant will he grant. And whoso feareth God, unto him will he grant. And he will bestow on him an ample provision from him, uh, from whence he expecteth not. And whoso trusteth in God, he, his sufficient support for God, will surely attain his purpose. Now hath God appointed unto everything a determined period, and that such of your wives as shall despair having their courses, if ye be in doubt, let their term be three months, and let the same be of those who have not yet had their courses. But as to those who are pregnant, their term shall be until they be delivered of their burden. And whoso feareth God, unto him will he make his command easy. This is the command of God, which he hath sent down unto you. And whoso feareth God, he will expiate his evil deeds from him, and will increase his reward. Suffer the women whom ye divorce to dwell in some part of the houses wherein ye dwell. And in modern English we say, allow the women. According to the room and convenience of the habitations which ye possess, and make them not uneasy, that ye may reduce them to straits. And if they be with child, expend on them until they be delivered of their burden. And if they suckle for you, give them their hire, and consult among yourselves according to what shall be just and reasonable. And in Western law, they don't have these provisions for the women that the men have to provide for the... Uh... It's not a universal requirement to uh, require spousal support or even child support. Maybe the woman has more, but 
regardless of what the woman has, it's the man's responsibility. According to what shall be. And if they suckle for you, give them to them their hire, and consult among yourselves according to what shall be just and reasonable. And so it's not just the pregnancy, it's the weaning of the child where but after the weaning, it's just the child that you pay for. And if you put and if ye be put to difficulty, and another woman shall suckle the child for him, let him who hath plenty expend in the maintenance out of his plenty, and let him whose income is scanty expend out of that which God hath given him. God obligeth no man to more than he hath given him the ability to perform. God will cause ease to succeed hardship. How many cities have turned aside from the command of the Lord and his apostle? Wherefore we brought them to a severe account, and we ch ch uh, chastised them with a grievous chastisement, and they tasted the evil consequence of their business, and the end of their business was perdition. God hath prepared for them a severe punishment. Wherefore, fear God, O ye who are endued with understanding. True believers now hath God sent down unto you an admonition, an apostle who may rehearse unto you the perspicuous signs of God, that he may bring forth those who believe and do good works from darkness unto light. And whoso believeth in God and doth that which is right, him will he lead into gardens beneath which rivers flow to remain therein forever. Now hath God made an excellent provision for him, God who hath created seven heavens and as many of the earth. So, you know, heaven of the skies. The divine command descendeth between them that ye may know that God is omnipotent and that God comprehendeth all things by knowledge. And also, you know, we have the seven continents. There's another meaning that can be put there. 